No, well, it's they, it's full of hay. Mm -hmm. Also, they have a there's this tool, this one and this one. They are like living together. Uh, they had this because they had some criminal background, so somehow they, they got this police magazine and put them. I think I thought about that earlier, so they knew something. Of the police doing around. Do you have some problems or they are willing to talk? Uh... Well, yes, we have language problems because that was the thing here that uh, we had to talk this whole process like a, uh, again, like a change it a little bit because it was more like to get contact with people with the language to something you know about it but you don't know it completely like uh, Finnish and Estonia are quite close but not exactly. Mm -hmm. So we can just pick like words from there and there and understand something, but not all. But we had translator in Trasina, so it was easy to speak with the people there. But here it was like uh, we didn't have any translator. It was we just had three questions in Estonian and tried to approach people, and it was quite it was actually quite a uh, uh, how do you say teaching. You could see yourself more that you had to be overcome your sinus, Finnish sinus, so it was a really quite difficult thing to do. And uh, did you explain them what you're doing or well we had just, right? we were just saying it, that we are artists from Finland because they knew something that, that there's artists visiting the place. And, uh, we were saying that uh, if we can just ask from your memories from this village like we are gathering them and most of the people were quite friendly and talking with us but because they didn't speak any Finnish and we didn't speak Estonian they only were speaking out very little and it was the, like uh, when we run out of the three questions it's uh, quite hard to proceed after that so it's, it's, it's the situation is like both of the sides are like just like this and trying to get something and then bye bye but it's they, everybody, everybody has been really polite. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yesterday we visited this old couple and they were really, really like talking for hour and they would like to talk more and they give us these books also which the man had written and collected these stories in here around. But we already had some new stories that we didn't know even. Uh -huh. This ghost like legend in this school, I don't know why. Maybe he just hadn't heard it. So it's more that we are just gathering some pieces of uh, information, local history here. We just try to meet the people with our language skills. Were they interested in uh, uh, coming to see what uh, you would do with uh, this? Did you talk about, like, invited them to yeah. come to Mars? Yeah, they said that. Did you have any similar experience before? No. No. Well, in Karelia we were, but we were sort of interviewing, just you know, collecting, but it didn't have any focus or point. Yeah. But I had this project in Holland that I was in Den Haag. Mm -hmm. I was there going around. And drawing uh, all, all these historical buildings and people, what, what was happening there and people first, I didn't plan it like that, but then I noticed that people came to talk to me about the history of this city and said mm -hmm. some places where I had to go and so it began. So uh, this was like, uh, you started with something and then you saw that uh, people are interested yeah, in Yeah, yeah, but it was e easier because everybody spoke English there, mm -hmm. it was quite easy to make some kind of contact, but this is the language barrier is here, also the new thing, so but I think it's like a, it's also some, it's a different project from that, of course. Yeah, but somehow you feel like it, it started uh, for you, uh, this uh, contacts with people uh, or, or interest for, for doing something like this, uh, where you include people from People that are not artists and... Yes, and it's like a, 
and more, more of the interest is that say, it's the small community of the village because they probably everyone knows because there's something like how many 500 people here something like that everybody knows about something about everyone I guess so they have some kind of if, if some, something happened to someone then maybe yeah it's the rumors are going around quite fast uh, that's like uh, that interest of me like the some kind of well, a collective memory, I don't know if it's the right word, but of the village. Not, not in, a, like a, in a scientific sense, but like more like a, what, what is this uh, information that they are living in. Mm -hmm. Because two men, these two men even met in Rasina, what they remember from most was that they had already seen us here. Oh. Um, we were the local rumor in Rasina. <laughs> was like, so, of course, we, we cannot shut ourselves out of this. We are like a yeah. already part oh, of yeah, this. already part of this collective memory here. <laughs> Some kind of rumor system.